Welcome to the Sacred Sage. Well, I thought I must do something different this time. And I'll tell you the reason why. Since yesterday night, and I know it is the whole realization and the turmoil that I've been going through since yesterday night is because of the Venus shift. Venus is now in Libra. And I think the effect of it is going to stay in our life uh, for about 18 months. The whole transit period of Venus in Libra and uh, during the course of her journey, it's going to be something significant in our twin soul journeys. Now, For each one who has believed that you have a twin soul and whether you are already connected or you're waiting for one, you know that the last few months and years have been quite tormenting. Tormenting because in the 3D world, we don't really understand why is it getting so difficult. Every time you thought something's getting resolved, something else went for a toss. And I think it the whole back and forth and the weight and the craving, it's, it's all been taking a toll. And now that Venus has shifted and Jupiter has already made its shift, life is only going to get better. The path will be clear. And I know it's difficult to believe because we've all gone through so much that to even imagine that it's going to be an easy ride from here on is slightly difficult. Now, when I say easy, I'm not saying that it's going to be something that will transform overnight. All that I'm trying to tell you is that, yes, you were supposed to learn a few lessons your twin soul was supposed to learn a few lessons, whether it was about the third party or it was about being in karmic relationships or situation, which could help both of you evolve into the twin soul energy of giving and loving selflessly. I think that had to happen for you to increase your vibration it's not always about life and the universe being cruel and you getting your lessons right or wrong and then being punished. A lot of people think like that. No, it's not like that. The universe doesn't come to punish you. The universe always says that if you learned your lessons right and if you could reclaim the power and the wisdom of your divine soul energy, then everything that you want can manifest. And don't forget that your twin soul is, is just a mirror reflection of who you are. So if they've been difficult and that's what you think, then there is a part of you that is actually unhealed or has not evolved to the state of being in perfect divine union. And that is the reason why you have to go through these experiences so that you can change your vibration. Now, with all the wisdom of the lessons that you've learned in the past months and years, you're now moving into a period where Venus in Libra and Jupiter in Sagittarius together collectively in conjunction with Saturn, who's the karmic master, will now finally show you the way. Now, it could mean different things for different people. For example, maybe you thought somebody is your twin soul and it is quite possible that the revolutions uh, come across in a way where you realize that maybe he or she wasn't the twin soul. Maybe you meet someone new, only if you're ready for it. I'm not saying that you should leave the relationship that you're in. I'm just saying this is a general reading. So stay there, watch, observe, learn, evolve, apply all of the wisdom that you have, use it to your advantage as you walk forward in the twin soul journey. So yeah, it is also possible that you were with somebody or you're still with someone and the relationship has been this bumpy ride. Maybe you have been struggling to make it perfect. Maybe you were the only one making all the effort to somehow ensure that something about it comes back on track where you've been waiting for them to realize that, oh my God, he or she is my soulmate. What have I been doing? 
maybe you've just been craving for them to come to you and and be in this divine union and it's not been happening it is possible that you're quite exhausted and tired it is also possible that you're feeling extremely hopeless about it and you don't know what to do with it all i'm trying to tell you is that life is about to change and you got to prepare yourself for the change and that is why we are doing these special readings at the sacred sage for each one of you to understand your own twin soul journey it will help you understand yourself better and it will also help you understand your twin soul it's possible that they are not so evolved as you are the reason why they are not watching this reading and you are watching this reading is because you are more evolved you understand the whole energy dynamics and you've been learning your lessons you've been patient you've been kind and giving and nurturing and you have accepted the fact that they also have to go through what they have to go through to be able to be in perfect union with you and since you are the loving one it's only fair for you to give it due share of time and wait for them to get to the level where they can be up to the mark not up to the mark in the 3d way up to the mark spiritually where their vibration matches with your vibration of spiritual evolution and they can be ready for the perfect union i know you have been waiting for this for a long long time but i must promise you that the energies are shifting whatever is love and whatever is twin soul for you whoever is the twin soul for you i do know that it will come to you it's just a matter of time and all the lessons that you learned to be so loving and kind to be so selfless to believe in the universe and its magic all of that love and magic is going to come to you so keep the faith and let's get started with your reading dear taurus your soul is yearning for more the divine is all and there are no limits to what can be experienced by the soul the soul is so hungry for the divine union that it will seek out whatever is needed to get there even if it means journeying into a strange or an exotic shore for an expanded experience you may be feeling this soul impulse as an urge to travel to try something new to let go of the limitations of your mind in how you see your current life and to begin to see a new world maybe something that was once familiar but you lost touch the art of the passionate soul is to be able to see that which is new and fresh even in what is known and sometimes we can use the help of a fresh vista to inspire the mind to open and the heart to be ready to receive more it is time for you to reach out for the distant shores that are calling you now dear beloved don't pack your bag with too much though you will have to travel light and feel easy it will be easy only if you have less baggage because you will need plenty of space to receive all that is new and is coming to you this oracle brings you a message that you will benefit greatly from travel right now you may travel through mind by reading journals of far away places or lands or maybe just watch a film that transports you into a different world moving your body to a different place is another way bringing fresh energy by unplugging you for a short time from what you know to plug you into a different circuit so that you may receive different energy so when the opportunity to travel arises for you whether it be a jaunt far away or a day in a different place just take it 
don't worry if it doesn't seem practical. The divine is so much more important, intelligent and capable of genius than what mere logic would have us believe. Here's what it has to say. I waited for dawn, not wanting to go, but knowing I soon will have to leave. I waited for the first light, listening, joining with you each breath and each exhale. I watched as morning came and you gently stirred, knowing our love was not measured in time, not the minutes that quickly passed or hours that departed. How I wanted to linger, how I wanted to tell you that this moment would last forever and whisper one more time, I love you. And then you held me and said it first. A goodbye that no longer mattered. The message for you, Taurus, is that of Shakti. Shakti is the divine feminine fire. She is the body awakened with light. She is the divine feminine, the kundalini, the energetic force that moves through us triggered by love that leads to enlightenment of our body. With a kundalini coming alive within us, we cannot remain as we were once. It is impossible. We may try to lead the same lives, be the same in our relationship patterns and perhaps even behave properly, but it simply cannot be done. Soon, our disguise slips and people wonder what happened to her or what has gone into him. People may say what's really wrong with you, but that does not matter. We are on fire with the divine and we cannot help but misbehave. We are no longer satisfied with trying to be the good child or fearing what happens if we turn out to be the bad child. We know ourselves instead to be the divine child. The child divine lives fully and with passionate fire, not doing things the way they are supposed to be done perhaps, but living instead from the heart. Our body may ache us with the burn through the old pain and sometimes... Light within may seem so bright that it blinds us for a moment, but that will pass and the misbehaving will suddenly be seen for what it is. The old rules just don't fit anymore. You don't plug a globe capable of illuminating the whole world into the bedside reading lamp without burning down the house. Best to let the light shine as it was meant to in the big arena. Shakti is making your light grow, dear beloved. Be prepared to shine brighter. This oracle brings you a message that you are going through an energetic shift at a subtle anatomy. Because your energy, your body, your physical body have already begun to merge with each other, the energetic shift will affect your physical body too. It is always wise to consult a healthcare practitioner, but at least some of your physical challenges at the moment from aches to pain to tiredness are due to the energetic awakening. Take responsible action as you feel is necessary, such as tending to physical well-being with healthcare that feels supportive, but also remember to rest. Get some time in nature and nurture your body as it is spiritually awakening into greater light. I watched you hurting and I felt helpless to make life better for you. Loving you is having to make choices to let you be who you are, who you become and all that you are capable of being. To love you is to ride the waves of your passionate embrace of life, ever mindful change of the wind and the occasion that is tempest, that is brewing. Loving you is having to make choices knowing that it isn't my fault. I can still choose to take it personally or just be while I listen and watch you unfold. Your heart is beautiful, I will always love. It is a part of you that hasn't changed much over time. When I lie beside you and hear you breathe, 
When I touch your skin or caress your hair, you're timeless and I choose to love you and love you even more. It is the sweet soul rising. You may feel lost in your own thoughts and feelings. It is the sweetness of your surrender in another world. It is a time to dream, to wonder. Not to be clear and sharp right at this precise moment. If you have a clear plan, let it become soft and feel your heart open to allowing and allowing whatever may be. We might believe that it is through tough action and dynamic assertiveness that we make our way through the world. And yet sometimes the sweetness of the soul rises and instead we can flow gently with the currents of the cosmic ocean, unsure of where we are headed, but safe in the truth of all that is in store for us. You can use your own efforts to swim through the ocean to your destination against the currents of time, or you can float on the sweet love of your own soul as it enjoys the privilege of getting to know itself as one with the divine. This oracle brings you the guidance now to surrender and flow. This is not the time to assert your will and try to make things happen. No matter how much you may want to, or believe that you should, it is truly not the time to be assertive. Just be soft, be kind, be gentle, and be in the floating state of mind. There is something bigger happening and everything is going to turn out to be perfectly fine as per the larger plan that the universe has for you. Sometimes we have to let go of our own expectations about how the bigger plan will be achieved and just let it happen. Trusting that it will happen actually takes place without us striving to make it so. This is one of those times. Here's what it has to say. With innocence I share my heart, a smile expressing with a tear, sweet words and feelings that impart everything that I hold dear. The promise of a blossom high, the air is bathed with fragrant scent. To reach the sun you have to fly, desire well, with love that's meant. To wait for heaven's soft embrace, a fruit so firm and succulent, God's promise must remain to just, while passion's glow is slowly spent. Such patience born with time in sight, my soul doth burn in embers light, and savors fresh and moist and ripe, the gift of love when it is right.